Good morning, boys and girls. Where are the boys? Did I have some boy up here? Come on here, my friend. Amen. Good morning, church family. Good morning. Our children's story is entitled How the Eskimo Catches the Wolf. Uh, what he does is the Eskimo takes his knife that is sharp on both ends, very sharp. And he coats it with a layer of blood. And then he lets it dry. Then he coats it again with another layer of blood, fresh blood, and he lets it dry. And he coats it over and over again until it's all covered. The blade is all covered so you can't even see the blade. And it looks like a lollipop. And then he takes his knife and he goes out and he sticks it, he buries the handle in the, in, in the snow, in the hard snow. And then he coats it again with another fresh layer of blood. And the wolf can smell that blood from miles away. And then he draws the wolf to that lollipop. When the, when the wolf reaches that lollipop, he begins to lick the blood. He licks the blood. And after a while, his tongue is desensitized because of the coldness. He cannot feel the difference. And he keeps licking the blood, and very soon, he slits his tongue. And unbeknown to him, he begins to drink his own blood. And very soon he bleeds to death. Now that is how sin is. The devil paints sin very sweet, very attractive, very um, kaleidoscopical. It looks good. And sin is appealing. All of us enjoy sinning. Sin is sweet to the unborn person again. <coughs> And the devil starts out very subtle, very simple. Like when we keep on sinning, when we indulge in sin, we are desensitized. We cannot feel the difference between right or wrong. And we are killing ourselves. That is the reality of sin. Sin, the end result of sin is death. And that's why Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. So the only way to be on God is to stay with Jesus. He's the only one who knows the right path. He's the only one who knows the difference between right and wrong. And he's the only one who can give us victory Amen. over sin and over the devil. Amen. And in Matthew 24, 25, Jesus says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. His words are true. Amen. So God bless you as we face another week. That we we'll ask him to keep us faithful to him and we will not be caught up in the devil's trick and in his scheme so that we can live. We don't have to die. Amen. Who wants to pray for us? Okay. Yeah, I'm pray for you. <laughs> okay, you pray for us. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day and your many blessings, and thank you for the children's story that you have told us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you.